Look anywhere. People love their guns in Las Vegas. Stores and shooting ranges attract tourists, especially from countries with strict gun laws. Like Alan Ebbs, who paid $90 for an hour to fire a pistol, and then to pull the trigger of an M16 fully automatic rifle. That was a, a little bit scarier, uh, just how quickly it, you know, it went. You know, it was 25 shots, it was gone in a couple of seconds, and that was it. About the time it took a gunman to fire repeatedly into a crowd of concert goers on Monday. Police say Stephen Paddock shot from this 32nd floor window and that he had more than 20 guns in his hotel room. Bob Irwin owns an AR-15, one of the guns police say caused the carnage. But this one is a semi-automatic, legal to buy in the United States. Police say Paddock modified his to fully automatic. We asked Irwin how differently this type of gun would look. And then you could fire another shot, and that's how they normally work. But... An individual cannot make a machine gun since May 19th of 1986, period. Except for one way, with a bump fire stock, which police say Paddock used on 12 guns. It's new technology to modify the trigger and is legal. Everything is available on the Internet. Everything from conversion kits for under $100 to how-to videos. The state of Nevada requires a background check to buy guns and requires a permit to carry a concealed weapon. But the Law Center to Prevent Gun Violence gives the state the grade of a C- minus for its gun laws. Two Nevada gun store owners told police Paddock bought several guns at their stores and, quote, all state and federal requirements were met. Irwin formerly owned a different Las Vegas gun store and shooting range. This is not a good guys with guns committing crime problem. It's a criminals committing crimes. Ebbs and his Irish friends were part of the chaos running for cover the night of the concert shooting. Yet he came to the range to shoot a machine gun. After being involved in that, after shooting a gun, I'm even more so against it, being honest. I think in a controlled environment, that's absolutely fine. Certainly not spraying gunfire from a 30-second story window. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News, Las Vegas, Nevada.